Family members of a man who was hit and killed while riding a bicycle are speaking out. 45-year-old Christopher Razney died after being hit by an 18-wheeler on Platte Springs Road yesterday. Our Rachel Ripp spoke with family members a short time ago. It was a normal Tuesday morning for Terry Razney and her brother. He said, hey, sis, you know, I got to go to work. And I said, I do too. I said, have a good day. And, you know, he went his way and I went mine. But that all shifted about four hours later. It's just weird that now I'm not going to see him anymore, you know. Terry got a call from her sister. Her brother, Christopher Razney, died while riding his bike to work around 7 a.m. The Lexington County coroner says he was hit by a semi from behind. He was funny. He and he was great with animals, um, people, and he was just fun to be around, you know. And now it's just it's hard. My brother spent a whole week before he got this job trying to find the best possible route so he was safe to get back and forth to work. And it obviously wasn't good enough. Cycling advocate Cliff Corley says Christopher was doing everything he was supposed to. The law says that we are to ride in the lane, okay, and then we have the same responsibilities and rights to the lane unless there's a there's a bike lane right here. We have to ride in that bike lane. The state highway patrol telling us drivers need to be less distracted and more careful. Just be aware that you know you're going to see an increase of people on bikes, and we have to share the road with these bicyclists. So we need to make sure that you know that we're being uh, observant of the speed limit, not speeding excessively. Making sure we're limiting our distractions while we're driving. You know, put the cell phone down, pay attention to the road ahead of you. Now it's Terry's mission to email lawmakers and join cycling advocates in honor of her brother. I believe that the bike pass should be made a little bit safer, um, widened, or maybe a guardrail in between some areas where there's so much traffic. Rachel Ripp, News 19, WLTX. Well, the latest numbers tonight are from 2022. They show over 1,100 bicyclists died in traffic accidents nationwide that year, with 46,000 injured that same year. Uh, tra those traffic accidents are the leading cause of death for people between the ages of 4 and 7 years of age, as well as 16 to 20 years old. Happening next week, the City of Columbia is asking residents to come out for a community bicycle lane public input meeting. That meeting will take place at the Earlwood Community Center. It is from 4 until 6. The event will allow the public to give input on the first buffered bicycle lane on River Drive between Sunset and Main Street.